In today's lesson, we are going to be changing our simple sentences about our penguin into a kenning poem. And we're going to do this one step at a time all together. First step is you're going to get one strip of paper and we're going to look at the line, it swims in the sea. It swims in the sea. Which word in this sentence is the verb? Which word is the doing word? What does the penguin do? It swims. So we are going to get our green pen, because that's our colour for verbs, and we're going to write the word swims. And if we remember from yesterday's lesson, when you want to turn a verb into a noun, what do you add? We add ER. So we're going to fold our paper like this so it covers the ending of the word like that. So I've taken my piece of paper and I've just folded it so it covers the last letter, covers the S. And we're going to add ER. Now swimmer is actually a tricky word. We have to add an extra M to it. So swim, I'm going to add an M. And then with my red pen, I'm going to add ER. Swimmer. So I've changed the word swims to swimmer. Let's do that for eats now. So get another strip of paper. I'm going to copy the word eats. I'm going to make it much bigger actually. I realized that swimmer was too small. There. Eats. How can we change the word eats to be a noun? It's an eater. So I'm going to fold my piece of paper like that. So I've covered my S and I'm going to add E-R. So now we've changed swims to swimmer, eats to eater, waddles, waddles, going to change that verb to a noun. So I'm going to copy the word waddles. waddles and I'm going to cover just the S and we want to add ER. It's a bit tricky guys. We don't want to add another E. We're just going to add an R because there's an E there already. So now we've got swimmer, eater, waddler. What's our next one we should do? Dives. It dives into the water. That's another verb. I'm going to write dives. Dives. And then we fold the piece of paper. And we want to add ER. But look, there's an E there already. So we don't need to add the E. Just need to add the R. It is a diver. So our penguin is a swimmer, eater, waddler, diver. Last word, layer. You might have another word because your challenge was to add two more sentences. So you might want to add, you might need another strip for your last verb. So it lays eggs, it lays eggs. We want to add the ER to make it a noun. Layer. It's a layer. So we've got eater, swimmer, diver, waddler, layer. Now our next step is to make it sound more Kenning poemish. So I'm going to put that here. There is my swimmer word. Now, where does it swim? Let's look at our sentence. Where does it swim? It swims in a place. It's a place word, a noun. It swims in the sea. So you're going to get another strip of paper. 
and you're going to use your blue pen or your blue coloring pencil to match that color it's going to go this way sorry guys that way Ooh, realize you can't see oopsie there we go where does it swim it swims in the sea So here's our first line of our Kenning poem. Sea swimmer. Let's do eater. We're gonna put eater on this side. What does it eat? What does it eat? It eats fish. Fish is our noun. It's our animal. So we can get another strip of paper, put it here. And we're gonna copy the word fish. So, so far we have two lines of our Kenning poem. Sea swimmer, fish eater. Let's do this one now. Waddler. Let's put waddler here. Where does it waddle or what does it waddle on? Ice is the object. That's our noun. Let's get another strip of paper and you're going to write the word ice. So now we have three lines of our Kenning poem. Sea swimmer, fish eater, ice waddler. Your task now is to do the, um, is to, sorry, I'm bumbling my words. There's diver, so you need to, on the strip of paper, write the noun that goes in front of diver. Use your um, work from yesterday. Then you've got layer this is the one i added you might not have egg layer so you're going to finish doing what we've just done when you have finished that put these aside and save them for tomorrow because tomorrow we are going to write out our kenning poem okay so this is your task for today don't lose these strips of paper because you're going to need them for tomorrow bye everyone